Hi everybody, welcome back. This is Sarah from the Taylor Art Studio, the City of Tampa's visual arts team. Today we're going to create a perspective pier. So when you go out to the beach and you walk down a pier, we're gonna make it look like a real one with some perspective. So the supplies you're gonna need today are paper, pencil, a ruler, and some coloring materials. I have markers and crayons because I like to use markers for certain things and crayons for bigger areas of coloring so I don't wear my markers out. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is draw a horizon line. That is that straight line across way out where it looks like the water meets the sky when you go to the beach. That's called the horizon. Then we're going to draw a small dot in the middle of our horizon line and that's going to be what we line our ruler up with to make everything look like it's in perspective. It's kind of hard to see with the pencil, um, but the ruler is lined up with a little dot that I made on the horizon line. And then it's going to go outwards and get bigger or wider as it comes towards me. So I did my pier, the wooden part that you walk on first, and now I'm going to do those pillars that run along the side of the pier. So what happens with things like that is that they're going to get smaller and look like they're closer together the farther, the farther away they get. The closer they are to the horizon line, the smaller they're going to look to you. And I just kind of estimated this. It doesn't have to be perfect. So now I'm just kind of working out the details here. These are, this is gonna be a wooden pier. So I wanna make those pillars look like they're wooden. So I'm kind of adding some lines and details to make them look wooden. Erasing some stuff that I don't want because I am going to go back and outline everything in a marker and color it in later. And I'm drawing the boards, the slats that are going to be part of that wooden walkway. I'm adding my sunset in the background on that horizon line, some clouds. Maybe I want to have a seagull sitting here on one of these pillars. I'm just got adding some details here. I think I'm drawing a bird up there too, but then I decide against it later, which is great when you use a pencil to start with because you can kind of work out your ideas and then you can always erase it if you make a mistake or you don't like what you drew. So now I'm gonna outline it with a marker. I like to outline things with the black marker. I'm doing drawings like this. So now I'm going to follow those lines for my pier and my pillars. And again, I want to make those look like wood. So I'm just drawing some lines on it that kind of look like wood grain. Really easy. Wood grain is really a really easy texture to create because it's pretty. Um, you don't have to be perfect about it. You can just kind of draw lines everywhere and the more random they are, the better it looks. Okay, so now I have my pillars. I'm erasing the old pencil lines that I don't want there anymore. And I outlined my sunshine, my horizon line, and my clouds. Now I'm taking my ruler and I'm gonna make those wooden slats or those big long wooden pieces that are part of my walkway. Again, when things are in perspective, the further they get away from you, the closer they look and the smaller they look. So I made those wood pieces on the walkway look a lot closer and more narrow or smaller. And then I made them get bigger as they came towards me on the bottom of the paper. So 
So now I'm going to color my picture. And the water, I want to make that darker towards the horizon line because the ocean gets deeper and deeper the farther you get out. So it looks like it's darker and darker. So I'm going to make it darker further away from my pier and then make it lighter as it gets closer to the bottom of the paper. Now I'm going to color in my pier. So it's wood again. So I'm going to make it um, color it with some different browns. Again, it's wood. So I'm just, I'm kind of starting with just like a bunch of lines. And then I'll just color it in with a crayon. That's why I like to use markers and crayons because you can do darker highlights or details and things with the markers and then you fill it in with crayon and then you don't have to worry about wearing out your markers and running out of ink so quickly. And now I'm going to do the sky. So usually the sky at sunset when it's getting closer to nighttime it's going to be darker and have a lot more purples in it. So I'm going to use some purple first and then I'm using an indigo crayon and then I'm going to use a regular blue crayon and then I found one crayon in my box that was a light blue color so I'm going to use that when I get closer to the horizon line. And again I'm just going to tidy it up and erase some of those old lines and here's my final picture. So I added some extra details. I actually drew a seagull and a dolphin jumping out of the water on a different piece of paper and then cut them out and glued them down. Well, that's all for today. Thank you all for joining us and I hope that you all stay inspired and stay safe and keep being creative.